Good morning, Church. Welcome back again to our daily devotion insight. I want to share with today a devotion on seek to understand before being understood. Seek to understand before being understood. Philippians chapter 2, verses 4 and 5 says, Don't look out only for your own interests, but take an interest in others too. You must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. You know, when you are in a conflict, the loving and Christ-like way is to diffuse the tension, is to seek to understand before seeking to be understood. When we're in a conflict, when we're in an argument, we always want to prove a point. We always want people to listen to us. We always want people to take heed to what we say, but we don't want to hear what they're trying to say to us. Try to figure this out, what the other person is thinking and saying before you start trying to convince them, to convince them of your side of the story. You cannot hope to be understood until you are willing to do the same for others. Many times we want people to understand us, understand us, understand us. But you know what? So many times, even myself fail in this area as well. We fail to want to understand people first. The Bible says, a person who answers without listening is foolish and disgraceful. One more time. A person who answers without listening is foolish and disgraceful. In Proverbs chapter 18, verse 13. We are often so busy trying to get people to see in our way that we don't stop to listen to what they are saying. That's why you and I need to say, you go first. And then after they have shared, you say, now, let me see if I understand. You are saying, repeat to them what you understood that they were communicating to you. Do you get this right? It means that you can always ask them, you know, you go first and then let me see if I understand you. Uh, did I get it right? Is that what you meant? Is that what you say? That gives people a chance to correct and not just be understood but also feel understood. One more time. When you do this, you go first. Now let me see how, if I understand you or you are saying what you are saying or did I get that right? When you, did, did you do this in a conversation, in a conflict resolution or conflict solving situation, you give people, you give people a chance to correct, not just to be understood, but also to feel understood. Amen? So, seeking to understand first also allows you to see the other person's perspective. Philippians chapter 2, verses 4 and 5 says, Don't look out only for your own interests, but take a, an interest in others too. You must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. You know what? We are in the thick of a pandemic filled with a lot of he heated discussion around the best way to move forward, the best way to run the country, the best way to administrate uh, the vaccination, the best way to whether lock down, not to lock down, the best way to stop this and stop that, the best way to go about our daily life. Everyone have their own has their own perspective. We all do. But it seems like no one is willing to see anyone else's perspective. All we can see is our own sight of things, our own perspective, the way things should be done, the way we think is right in our own eyes. If you're not willing to seek to understand and acknowledge others' perspectives, then you are not going to be, or we are not going to be able to see the hurt of other people. One more time. If we are not willing to, 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 to seek to understand and acknowledge people's struggles, people's difficulties, we are not going to see the hurt that others are going through. 
Many a times we say the government should listen to the rakyat. Yeah, the government should do this. The government should do that. The government should consider us. Well, learn to see and hear what the government trying to say and do first. You know, you won't see their fear, their pain, their injustice that they have faced. Our friends, our family members, our parents, our spouse, uh, our, our pastors, our leaders, our church, even our neighbors. If you don't learn to see the difficulty they struggle with and the struggle of their lives, you won't see their fear, you won't see their pain, you won't see their injustice, you won't see the struggle at all they are facing. This is not the way of Jesus. Jesus was always looking beyond himself. He always considered others before himself to the needs of others. He always looked beyond himself to the needs of others. Even on the cross, he was thinking about you. He was thinking about, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. He was still considering his mother and said, John, this is your mother. Mom, this is woman, this is your son, John. Even on the cross, he was also considering you and I. It's not easy to think of others before yourself and myself. It's, it, it certainly isn't natural to think about other people apart from ourselves. You are by nature, we are by nature self-centered people. That's a fact because of sin. Left to our own desires, I will always choose to look out for myself first before I look out for other people. I will always consider my need and my struggle first and people must understand us first before we want them to, to want to understand other people. It's always self-centered. We always are like a human being. I'm guilty. You know, I'm not saying you to you, I'm perfect, I'm guilty too. But we're all learning. At least we are learning, yeah? Only Jesus can change our perspective and your perspective, my perspective. Only Jesus can make you more interested in someone else's interest than in your own interest. When you take on the character of Christ, when you grow in Christ, when you want Jesus to be a major part in your life, you want Jesus to work in you, you want Jesus to come through in your life, if you want to cooperate with Jesus, the desire to understand before being understood becomes more easier, more natural, more christ light. Only then can you work through conflict as you think of others before yourself. Amen? So many a times, you know, husband and wife relationship, we always think about ourselves. And sometimes how guilty, how wrong I was and I am at times. So may, may, may God be merciful on us. May God help us that we need to learn, starting from today, learn, especially when we serve together, especially when we live together, especially when we do things together, seek to understand before being understood. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we pray to your bless and strengthen every one of us. Help us to learn to seek to understand one another first before being understood. Understand people's struggle, people's pain, people's hurt, people's problems, people's difficulties, uh, people's shortcoming. Lord, we pray that you help us to learn to understand before being understood. Bless every one of us have a great day. Help us to change the way we look at people and look at situation and look at life. All this we pray, bless us with a great day in Jesus' name. Amen. So you have a great day and may God bless you.